Another member of the clergy is already a wanted man. He's suspected of preying on the young, and this time a bishop may also be held accountable. CNN's Jason Carroll reports. Daniel Walsh was appointed Bishop of California's Santa Rosa Diocese six years ago. In large part, his job was to restore trust in a church community rocked by sexual abuse. Church leaders and parishioners put their faith in Walsh because he had been outspoken about the church's zero-tolerance policy. He's taken that charge very seriously, and he wants to be responsible. But now, Walsh is the subject of an investigation that could lead to the first indictment of a U.S. Catholic bishop for failing to report an abusive priest. Walsh says that after the priest admitted molesting three boys, he did not notify authorities immediately. He didn't follow his own internal guidelines, much less the laws, which is why he finds himself the subject of a criminal investigation. Mike Meadows is an attorney representing seven men in a civil suit filed last week against the diocese and the offending priest, Father Francisco Ochoa. The plaintiffs say Ochoa sexually abused them when they were children. One of his alleged victims, who requested anonymity, says Ochoa started molesting him when he was a nine-year-old altar boy. Then one day he started kind of touching me. He told me that's normal, you know, just don't tell anybody. In a letter to parishioners, Wall said that Ochoa admitted to him last April that he had recently sexually abused a 12-year-old boy and two other boys a decade ago. Walsh immediately put Ochoa on administrative leave and barred him from serving as a priest. What Walsh says he didn't do immediately is call the authorities, which is required by California state law. The diocese's own charter says a report should be made immediately. Bishop Walsh waited three days to call authorities. The Sonoma County Sheriff's Office believes Father Ochoa fled during that time and is now in Mexico. What reason could there have been for not reporting this immediately? It's not like he has to conduct an investigation. Ochoa came to him and said, I've been abusing these boys. What more did he need to know? Bishop Walsh declined an interview, but in that letter to parishioners, he apologized and explained, quote, I did not wait in order to allow Reverend Ochoa time to escape. I waited from an excess of caution. In this case, Bishop made a mistake. It was a mistake that's had some serious consequences, unfortunately. You have One early call Walsh did make the day after Ochoa confessed was to a church attorney. I think his first concern was, gosh, what does the lawyer tell me I should do? Um, in retrospect, that was not a wise move. The sheriff's office says its investigation found this case is worthy of district attorney review. The DA's office declined to say whether it has reached a decision to indict one church legal affairs expert says they should. If he's not indicted uh, on these clear facts and this predator got away, it's just going to perpetuate the system that created the massive child abuse that we have. Walsh says he's prepared to face the consequences if he's criminally charged. Many people think that, yes, he, of course, should be punished, and other people say the man made a mistake. This, there was not a malicious intent. Perhaps prosecution is a bit uh, harsh. Not harsh for Ochoa's alleged victims, who believe Walsh let Ochoa get away. I really do believe he should be indicted and investigated further. One man of the cloth has escaped justice for now. Another waits to see if he'll be judged in a place governed by facts, not faith. Jason Carroll, CNN, Santa Rosa, California.